Disney Cruisers, it's Robin from the GoTo family, and I'm back today with another Disney Cruise Line vlog. And in this vlog, I'm going to be talking about how to make the most of your Halloween on the high seas cruise. Before we start, though, be sure to subscribe to the GoTo family channel so you stay up to date with all our latest vlogs from Disney and around the world. If you're thinking about taking a Halloween in the high seas Disney cruise, I really recommend that you do so. I've taken nine cruises and one of those was actually a Halloween on the high seas. And I must say it was one of my favorite cruises. And just in two weeks, we're going on another one and I can't wait. It's really, really, I would say one of the best times to be on a Disney cruise because there's just so many activities and I just love the Halloween spirit and there's so many extra things you can do and you just get a lot more out of your Disney Disney cruise vacation I feel when it's Halloween on the high seas and I will say I've taken the Christmas cruises too but I still like the Halloween on the high seas better so having taken a Halloween on the high seas cruise before I would definitely say there are some things you can do to get the most out of your Disney cruise at this time of the year the number one thing is definitely definitely dress up we had a blast dressing up on the last cruise and don't worry kids dress up adults dress up it's really an activity for the whole entire family and there's a lot of people that actually dress up and a lot of people go really elaborate too so you don't have to worry if you even dress down or you dress really up there's a mix of everything but i would say a lot of people do dress up for halloween and the high seas so I'll show you what I'm actually going to be wearing in two weeks because we're going on the cruise and I'll show you what I chose to be this year. Last year uh, on our Disney Halloween on the high seas, I was Corella DeVille. I really, really spent a lot of time on this costume. I got the wig. I bought it on a cosplay website. Like I really went all out. But this year I was kind of toning it down a little, but still I kind of went out still. I mean, all out for me, I would say is one thing and maybe all out for someone else is a different thing. So maybe for you, it still would be all out. I don't know, but okay. So this is my costume. I didn't realize that I took the picture out, but anyway, I guess I can't show you as much, but you can see it is Minnie, Minnie's costume. It's actually vintage Minnie in her blue outfit. And so I'm going to be Minnie Mouse and our theme as a family, kind of as a family, because we couldn't get everyone to agree on what they wanted to be. So three out of five of us are going to be Minnie characters and we're going for Minnie through the years. And Minnie through the years basically is going to be, I'm going to be vintage Minnie in her blue outfit and I'm going to be wearing yellow shoes I found on Amazon for very cheap. And I'm going to be looking all vintage mini. And then my mom is going to be like the traditional looking mini with her red dress and white polka dots. And then one of my daughters is going to be pink mini. So we're all going to be going for Disney through the years. And my two other daughters are kind of dressing different because they weren't really into mini. Ella's not really into dresses. So she's actually going to be an Incredibles character. And my eldest daughter definitely doesn't want to be dressing in dresses anymore like and little costumes so she's gonna be sally from the nightmare before christmas and just to let you know if you haven't taken a cruise before you don't wear the costume the whole entire day there is going to be a special show on the top deck so i think the show starts around four to five o'clock but it does change so don't take my word for that so you get dressed before and then you go upstairs to the top deck and then there's a halloween show and there's like a little dance party and then the trick-or-treating happens which is all around the top deck so you start basically at one end and then you go into the buffet area and make your way out um, I didn't do it, but my kids did and they really enjoyed it. And in your room on Halloween day, they do leave a bag in the room for each of the kids. So you don't have to bring your own bag. So one less thing to carry onto your cruise. The second way to make your most out of the cruise is meet the special themed characters. So you will definitely see characters dressed up in their Halloween costumes. And you will also find Minnie dressed up as one of the Sanderson sisters, along with Clarabelle and Daisy on the cruise ship too. The line to meet them when they're dressed up like that is really long. So I recommend that you start lining out about 30 minutes before the Sanderson sisters are going to be out. And the meet and greet with Minnie, Daisy, and Clarabelle dressed as the Sanderson sisters happens a couple of times throughout the cruise. So it's not just a one-time opportunity. So you, you have various times to do this. So if you're busy one day, you can go another day. And you can see them right here 
dressed up as the Sanderson sisters. But like I said, all the characters, especially on the actual Halloween day, are dressed up differently. So for example, Donald Duck is like super duck. <laughs> so there's going to be very different costumes and it's so fun to see all the characters dressed up like this. The third way to make the most out of your Halloween in the High Seas cruise is actually take part in some of the other activities on board, the special activities like the craft making. You can make a haunted mansion sometimes. You can make different types of crafts. So I definitely recommend you look in the Navigator's app uh, the schedule to see what type of special crafts they're doing that are Halloween based. The number four way to make Halloween on the high seas the best Disney cruise you've been on is actually try the themed desserts. On one of the nights you can actually get a spider dessert on the fantasy and that was really good. It's like a chocolate little circular chocolate cake I guess and it has a spider legs a spider so definitely try some of the themed desserts and treats um, on your Halloween on the high seas the fifth way to get the most out of your Halloween on the high seas is to change it up when it comes to all those extras that you do like cruising ducks the pixie dust and the fish exchange and even the magnets. So what I mean when I say change it up is just don't make your cruising ducks cruising ducks, make them Halloween cruising ducks. Make your pixie dust Halloween themed. Make your fish exchange, if you take part in that, make it Halloween themed too. And I'll show you ex just exactly how we're doing that on our future cruise. So you can see here that we actually have cruising ducks that we're giving out, but instead of just a normal, cruise duck this little ducky is now a pumpkin duck and we also changed the labels too as you can see to Halloween theme labels so this is a really fun different way to give out ducks on your next Halloween on the high seas cruise also we love to give pixie dust so our pixie dust on this cruise is also going to be Halloween themed so you can see this is our pixie dust and we tend to give a little more on pixie dust because our kids really love it. So you can see the bag has a spider web on it. And then we have some Halloween little gifts in there. So you can see the label is actually Halloween themed too. It says you've been booed, which is kind of funny. So this is another way to change up your little things you give out, your pixie dust or your cruising ducks. I also make a lot of Halloween magnets and I leave my normal magnets at home and I put Halloween magnets up instead on our stateroom door. Also be sure to decorate your stateroom door with actual Halloween decorations. It just doesn't have to be magnets. We hang a little ghost on our uh, stateroom door and some other little Halloween decorations. We also hang two Halloween banners on the side of the door and we also hang uh, Halloween lights like little pumpkin lights. So go on Amazon. There's a lot of these little things you can bring on the cruise. The number six way to make the most of your Halloween on the high seas cruise is on your first day on embarkation day. Be sure to wear a theme shirt instead of just wearing a Disney cruise shirt. Make it Halloween themed. These are ours. As a family, we're going to be wearing these shirts. Sorry, it's a little wrinkly. It's been in the suitcase, actually, because we're leaving in a short amount of time. So ours is the Sanderson sisters, and it says it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. And also you can get Mickey ears that are Halloween, too. You can buy them on Etsy or you can buy them at the Disney store at Walt Disney World if you're going there before your cruise. Finally, the number seven way to make the most out of your Halloween on the high seas is just go with the flow. That might sound silly, but don't take it too seriously. These are just things that you can do to make the most out of your Halloween on the high seas, but don't follow a rigid schedule. If you kind of stress about missing one event or this or that, it caught, it, I don't know, you're just not supposed to stress on holidays. So just take it easy and just do what comes naturally, what your family's in the mood for. I'm sure you're going to have a great Disney cruise. So that's going to do it for this vlog. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. If you have any questions about the Halloween on the high seas, if you have any questions about sailing on Disney Cruise Line. Also, I'll leave links to anything I mentioned in this vlog, some Etsy links and other stuff where you can buy some Halloween themed things, even at 
Amazon. So that's going to do it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about sailing on Halloween on the high seas or Disney Cruise Line in general, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the GoTo Family channel. Hit the bell for notifications so you'll be notified anytime we post a new vlog. And also like this video so more people will see it.